What's up guys and ghouls? Very much aware that I have not a single speck of makeup on my face, but it's been a long day and it's very late. And I decided that before I went to bed, I wanted to film a couple videos. So, here we are. <laughs> Today's video is a DIY on a really cool looking pagan wreath that I found online. I did print it out, but I'll include a link so that you guys can go check out the website. But this website has really cool looking pagan wreaths. Most of them are Halloween related. Some of them are just Wiccan slash pagan related. Um, but I thought it would be a really cool addition to my decor this year. However, the website starts at $40 for this wreath. And that's just for it looking basic like this. And the price goes up to like $300. So I'm not willing to spend that much money on something that I can make myself. So I figured I'd do a DIY video and show you guys how to make it for much less than $40 if you're interested as well. So literally all you need for this DIY is a glue gun. Sorry, it's like plugged in so I can't pull it closer, but a glue gun with glue. You need some sort of cording and you need a grapevine wreath. I think this is called a grapevine wreath. Grape leaves, grape, grape, grape leaves, something. Anyway, it's literally what's in the picture. <laughs> and of course, for the star part, you need some sticks. Now I did not buy these, I just went outside and found some sticks. So this cost $4.50, this cost $4.99. These sticks were obviously free. I also had a 40% off coupon for one item at Michael's, so I think 40% off came off this, so it was about $3. So all in all, this cost less than $10 to make the wreath, so let's do it. So first things first, we're gonna form our star with the sticks. I highly suggest before you start gluing, lay everything out, kind of figure out how you want your star to look exactly, because remember, because they are natural and they have different shapes to them, one might light one direction a better than it would another direction, so play around with the sticks for a little bit, figure out what works best for the design that you're looking for. Okay, so I think I have my design laid out. So I understand that I'm slightly out of frame at this point, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with. So this is the overall design that I've come up with. So now what you're gonna do is take your glue gun and you're gonna glue the pieces together. I'm gonna glue them where all of the intersections cross right here. And here is my finished star. I kind of wanted it to look a little wonky and like creepy looking. I know the photo here had a much straighter star, but I kind of like the idea of it looking really like creepy and actually like it came straight from the woods. Okay, so if you notice here in this photo, there's string that's wrapped around each of the intersections of the star. So what we're gonna do now is put some of this string around each intersection. I'm gonna cut myself five identical strands. Okay, so we have five strands. So I'm gonna take my first strand I'm going to start off with this intersection right here, and I'm going to tie a knot, I'm going to tie another knot, and now I'm going to wrap. Now remember, depending on your sticks, you might need to be very careful. When I get to the back right here, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, and I'm going to hold this down on the glue. And while that's drying, I'm going to work with this string. Again, I'm going to add a little piece of glue piece, a little strip of glue. Okay, so if you notice, we do have this extra piece hanging off here. I'm just gonna cut that off. The first knot, okay, coming along. This one's gonna be really close because the other one's like right here. I just made my star funny, but it's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be creepy. Okay, now my creepy star is done. So all that's left to do is basically attach the star to my wreath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glue to the back of my star. Um, I'm just gonna lay it down and position it to see how I want it to lay. So I am gonna locate on the back here, there is like a hanger thing, it's right here. So I am going to make that the top and the star is gonna lay down on top of that. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to do is just take some of the twine that we have. I'm gonna cut off a piece and 
the little metal hanger that was on the top, I'm just gonna put the twine through it. Hey, and there it is. Okay, you guys, welcome back to my face. Here is the finished product. So obviously, as you can see, it does not look exactly identical. However, this being $40 plus shipping, this being less than $10 and it took me what? 20 minutes to make. I'd really say that this is a better buy. I think mine has a little bit more character as well because like I said it doesn't have like the completely straight lines on the star. It's creepy and weird looking and I mean I like it. I, maybe I'm biased because I made it. <laughs> anyway you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you to create your own really fun pagan wreath for Halloween or any other time of the year really. So yeah that concludes this video and I will see you tomorrow for another 31 days of Lagoween. Bye everyone.